well, turkey season's coming up, and I'm um, finally getting around. I'm going to build a uh, turkey spur and a bear claw necklace that we're hunting this year. Hopefully, it brings me some good luck. But uh, you know, I watched a couple videos on this, and I'm just going to kind of do it myself here. I kind of got an idea of what I want to do. I figured I'd uh, bring you guys along here. Got five sets of turkey spurs here. Two sets of uh, pheasant spurs. I might throw them in there just for something a little different. And then uh, the bear claws here. Hoping it turns out good. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to throw these uh, turkey legs in the vise here. And... Uh, I need to use this power saw and just cut it down on both sides of the spur. Well, that didn't work. Uh, let me see the blade. It might be too aggressive. What'd it do? Broke it. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna use a hacksaw now because uh, that blade's a little too aggressive. Yeah, it just it's broke. You still this should turn out a little bit better than that, but that's what the final product of the turkey spurs supposed to look like. That one looks better. <laughs> oh, bone. Bone dust. I think it's toxic too. Probably should wear a mask when you're doing this. Good all done, didn't take me very long. Here's the spurs here. I am going to go boil these in some hot water for a few minutes. Probably closer to 20 minutes. And that should uh, loosen this, uh, I guess you'd call it, it kind of looks like scaly skin on our legs and it should peel off nice and easy and then 
punch the hole, pu push that uh, bone marrow through, and maybe use something to whiten them up here, and then they should be ready to rip for the necklace. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head upstairs and start bowing on these. And uh, by the way, I definitely use a hacksaw. You get more precise cuts. And as you saw right away with the uh, hacksaw, or the, the you know, whatever, that uh, the blades was way too big and it, the first spur, it kind of chopped it up a little good. You can see right there, it's uh, a little chopped up, but it'll still work. But uh, I would say just a manual hacksaw would be the best way to go for these. Got all these in a pan here. I'm soaking water for a little bit and then I'm just gonna boil them up for a little while. The bear claws kind of float a little bit, so you gotta push them down, and get up the air out of the inside of the claw. So I uh, boiled them for a little over 15 minutes, now I'm just letting them sit in that hot water. Probably another 10 minutes till it cools down some. Really let that uh, skin get nice and soaking wet so it peels off nice and easy here. Just finished up with this stuff. I'm just wiping off the bear claws now. Wiping them off real good. and They had some fat residue and stuff on them. And, uh, now they look really nice and clean, put up against this. Nice and clean. Yeah, probably, maybe. What do you want? Ten dollars. Apologize for the disruptions in the video so far. We've got a full house today, but uh, finally got them done. I used a knife to cut. I didn't realize that there's a. That's not. I have some dry skin on them still. I mean, they ain't perfect. This one, is one of the better ones, but there's like this canal here on the top part, and there's a ligament. I didn't realize that for the first one. So you just cut that ligament down with a knife, pop the ligament out, and there's a skin flap here, and then you just peel this off the other end, and it kind of sticks to the spur. It's pretty easy, except for getting around the spur, and a sh sharper knife is better. Just cut a circle right around the spur, and then peel it off. You have to work it a little bit, and there's a... Uh, so, I mean, some of these spurs are from birds I shot back in 2012, 2013. I just kind of found a couple and threw them together here. So they, they're pretty well cemented. But, uh, yeah, they come up pretty well. Definitely, it's a pretty big pain. It's a, it's a long process. I've been doing it for, I guess it's only been about two hours and I got them all done. But uh, it's a little bit more of a pain than I was expecting. And, uh, yeah, I just recommend using a hacksaw. Oh, and then on the boiling part, uh, I think I let them boil for 15 minutes. I would definitely recommend boiling them for closer to 30 minutes and leaving them in the water while you're starting to uh, peel the skin off them. I think leaving them wet will make it a lot easier to come off because as you can see like on this one I still got a little bit of uh, on top there's a little bit you know right there but when you have it on the necklace it, it's gonna sit like that. It'll look good enough. Um, now I need to get a necklace for it, so I think I'm going to get a leather shoestring, and then I'm going to get a turkey trumpet. And the turkey trumpet will be the centerpiece, and I think the leather shoestring should hold up, be durable enough and look well. I might... These uh, spurs are so old, some of them are real brown, like the... I got two here from last year, my two birds from last year. And these ones, the newer ones, they're a little whiter, as you can see. And... Uh, but I don't want to be real white because I'd like to wear the, the necklace hunting and just in case it pops out and a turkey's coming out, I need that real vibrant white. But uh, 
So I might just do a little baking powder paste on them, let them sit for an hour or two just to give them a little, give them to stand out a little bit more, a little bit more white. But for the most part, this is the final product thus far till I get the strength of the necklace. So we're about, we're a little over halfway there. Alrighty. We're at the stage where we're going to start drilling holes through the bear claws here so we can put them on the necklace. So, uh, Got a drill bit here. We're starting out with the smallest one we have, just to start. Not really sure how this is gonna go. Hopefully it goes well. But we're starting with the smallest one we have, and I'm just gonna drill straight through the side. I'm gonna have these claws laying flat on my chest on when they're on the necklace. Well, I'm not exactly sure on how you want to drill it because these nails are a little bit more brittle. I'd hate to crack one. So we're going to try this one out first as a test run. That way, because we drilled it through, as you can see here, the bear claw is a big dip of bone on this side. So we're running it down through the bone here. There's the front hole and then there's the back hole there. Might lay a little goofy, but uh, I'm gonna try this out. It seems like it'd be the most durable way to do this. Well, I finished <clears throat> drilling holes through all of them, you can see. All right through the top part of that bone in the claw here, but uh, some of them are a little loose, and the one the bone separated from the actual claw. So, just taking a little bit of super glue and run around the edge to make sure they don't pop off. Cause I'd hate to lose one of these while I'm hunting. They all drilled. Yep. Well done. I got the turkey spurs already on the uh, necklace. I bought some leather. Like it's almost like a just like a string here, you can see it. Real durable, nice and dark, should look good. There they are. I'll put a little super glue in them and should hold tight forever. Okay. I didn't record this last section because I'm getting a little frustrated here. But I just redid them, I drilled them again and uh, did it right through the side. Actually the first holes we drilled are really helpful to starting it to get a nice perfect straight hole through without really cracking or damaging these claws. But you can see Hole in the front goes straight through the side. Right there, you can see the whole wall there. Goes right, th right through, nice and even. And it'll look a lot better when it lays down. So I'm gonna throw these back on, and we'll see what it looks like. Oh. It's an extremely tedious process, but uh, lighting kind of sucks. But you can see here, after re-drilling on the second time, this is definitely the way to go. I am going to add a uh, turkey trumpet as the centerpiece. I have a spur right now, because now the spurs are a little offset. Turkey trumpet is going to be my main centerpiece, and I might possibly get very small black beads to put in between them as well. But for now, this is the finished project, and uh, I hope if uh, you're doing this one day yourself, this video can help you out a little bit, because I just pretty much winged it so you can learn from my mistakes and not screw up as bad. But yeah, it's a pretty tedious process. It takes a lot longer than I thought. From start to finish, probably put it about four 
maybe f probably oh, around four, four and a half hours in total. And uh, you can see some of the spurs. I mean, they're some of these goblins. Like I said, I shot them almost ten years ago. They're they're yellow. The newer spurs, like this one here, is nice and white. The bottom, like the bone part, makes it look better when it's nice and white. But yeah, I eventually might go back and throw a little peroxide or something to whiten them up just a touch. And uh, yeah, I like it for the most part though. It looks looks cool. And I hope it brings you some luck this hunting season. So you should see me wearing it.